the stakeholders in the oil and gas industry in the country, including those ones that are not here, the government, the Central Energy Fund, the DMRE, the National Treasurer, the President himself. I want to turn around and look at these people. I look like them, I cannot change them. This is who we are. And we don't all live in this place. We live all around the country. So my question to you, all of you stakeholders, I'm gonna use the example of engine that you are now repurposing into a terminal in my country, South Africa, while we are importing petrol and diesel and jet, and now you take the entire refinery, you convert it into a terminal. So please allow me to ask the question on behalf of South Africans. Why could it not be bought by Petro SA so that we have a national pride to go around the country and see Petro SA outlets, 2,600 of them here in South Africa and 1,300 of them in the SADC region? But we must go and buy the very same refined product that comes from overseas, delivered here at this terminal that you are repurposing a refinery of. And I must take my money and go buy from Vivo Petroleum, from Britain. Our parents told us that Britain colonized us. So who's colonizing us today again? So I want to ask you people, why is it so difficult to live in this country that I am 50 years old, I've been attending conferences like this, hoping that one day I'll take something home. I come from Zululand, there is no industries there, nothing, absolutely nothing. Can we have you people open up an opportunity for the biofuels industry in this very same oil and gas terminal? Speak to the leadership of KZN, and speak to the leadership of Deben. Just open it up for us so that we can have offtake agreements and go and build the biofuels industry where we are. Because I do not come from Deben. The question then that I want to ask as a last question, who is dropping the ball in this country? Who continues to drop the ball in this country? I survive from private sector. I have never worked for the government. But here I am asking why is our government absent? Why is our government officials absent? Who continues to drop the ball in this country? Because we are a colonized eco. Look at yourself. There's only one white man amongst you. But you speak with a very apologetic voice, including our leadership in the country. I'm, I'm lashing at you guys. Tell me when I get out of here. I can say to Ingonyama Trust, show us the land. We're going to build the biofuels industry. We're going to dump it into the engine repurpose terminal. And when we go to Saprev, I want to ask the question, how are the South African banks going to be part of the underwriting of the money that is going to transact the engine deal that is going to Vivo from, from the UK when the very same bank are refusing to build a refinery in, in Richards Bay when the Saudis are prepared to build the refinery in Richards Bay? On one hand, they refuse to finance a refinery in Richards Bay because that is going to be built together with the government. On another hand, they are willing to transact with Vivo. It's still oil and gas interest. Why is the answer no when it is our government and it's yes when it is private sector? Thank, Thank you. you. Here. And I'm not going to be much longer with y'all. I understand we need to move beyond color. I, I'm, not, I'm not about that, but y'all raised it. If you start it, I'll end it for you. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. But we got a problem. Black people got a problem. Now we can move to color blindness and always look at the man by the content of his character, never the color of his skin. I'm down for that. You get my vote. Yay and amen, I'm for that. But before we get there, we need to hear some truth, black people and white folk. Black people got a problem, and it's a God problem. 
When black people see the world, I don't care. You can train them. You can train a black man to be a physician. You can train him to be an astrophysicist. You can train him to be a lawyer, but you can't train him to understand the world. He doesn't know. I'm telling you. Now, when black people don't have ownership, we have ownership of nothing. Even the richest of the richest of black people are employed, Baba. They are CEOs, they are tokens, they own nothing. Young Tolo Wooting Team, they are nothing. Even the richest of the richest of our black people are employed. They are CEOs, they are tokens of big companies. They don't own ownership is in the hands of, of, of white people, of foreigners, of Europeans, of colonizers. We don't own nothing. Nothing. That's why we can't develop nothing. Thanks for tuning into AJMT, where we never stop entertaining and always leave you wanting more. Until next time, keep on watching and keep on smiling. Please like, subscribe and click on the notification bell.